Thursday. And I just wanted to see how you guys were all doing practicing gratitude and serving others. And I wanted to see what kind of things you did last week to have happiness and joy. Um, share below in the comments. I'd love to find out what you did last week. So one of the things I did last week to find some happiness, this, this particular thing did cost some money, but because I'm on a budget, I went to Ulta. So this is about my haul from Ulta. Now, I am not doing a makeup tutorial. I'll leave that to some of the beautiful women out there like Melissa55 and, and Shelly from Fabulous 50s who really know how to put makeup on. I'm just going to show you what you can get on a budget that will last quite a long time and it's just as good in my opinion as some of the more pricier brands I used to use. But let's dive in and see what some of the items are I've got. I went specifically to Ulta to buy two of my normal foundations. And nobody locally had it, so I had to drive a little bit away. And when I got there, they only had one. And what I switched to is the Demi Matte Foundation from Ulta. It has really complete coverage. It goes on smooth with your fingers or a brush or a sponge. And I just really, really love it. I'll put a little bit on my finger so you can see. It is, it is very, very thick. If you can see that, I don't know if you can see that. Very thick. It holds up so it's not runny. So when you put it on, it does have really good coverage. It covers all the imperfections on your face. And it gives you a very nice, you know, matte finish if you like that. Um, they only had one. And this is very comparable to IT Cosmetics. I used to use IT in the cream and I used to use Bare Minerals Powder. And uh, I found that I couldn't always find my shade and, you know, I didn't want to pay $30 for a little tube. So Ulta has this and it's $14. And a lot of times you can get it on a sale. Buy one, get two free or buy two, get one free. So this time they only had one. So I wanted more than one foundation because I didn't want to have to go searching again. So, and I'll put this all here and I'll show you a shot of everything at the end. So I did find in their clearance area two of their HD coverage and neither of them are the right shade, but mixed together they work and, and I can even make it a little darker for the summer. And they actually had very good coverage and they were on sale for $3.97 and they give really good coverage. So uh, this will extend a uh, foundation for me, which is really good. So $3.97 each for those. So I was really, really happy about that. And I wanted some concealer and they didn't have the concealer I had, but what I did find, and I've used some of these things already, what I did find was these correct and conceal palettes that were originally $15 that were in their clearance area for $1.97. And sadly, stupidly, I only bought one. So if they have it next time I go, I'm gonna buy a couple more. And it has all the different, you know, it has the green, it comes with a brush and it has different colors. And depending on whether or not you're tan, you can mix them up. And um, I'm finding that they're pretty good. They're not as good as the other one that I was using, but they certainly do the job if you layer them. So that was the concealer that I got. Now I wanted some highlighter and I'd been using a highlight stick. So they had these liquid illuminators on sale for $5. I wanted to try it. I do like it, but I still feel that you need to use another highlighter over it. It's very, very subtle. And on my skin tone, it really doesn't show much. I am wearing it, but I'm wearing Ulta's um, stick highlighter as well. So again, good deal though for $5. Then in the clearance aisle, I saw, uh, I love their metallic lipsticks and I've bought them in the past. And this time I bought two different colors that I hadn't had before. This one is called Circa 1990 and I found it to be really too dark but I think that it has some merit if you're going out at night on the town. So, I'm, you know, I'm not gonna get rid of it. It just, when I looked at it in the back, it looked more bronze, bronzy, 
but when you put it on, it has much more of a pur dark purpley wine color. And that was on sale for $1.97. Um, normally, they're $8.50. So another really good deal, and I love the metallics. Then I saw this one that looked really, really pretty, and it's called Power Trip. It's another metallic, and I'm wearing it right now. Put a little more on. It's got a very peachy metallic look, and I like that one very much. In fact, I picked up a second one, but it's not in this part of this haul. So um, another $1.97 lipstick. So they were having a gift and you had to spend $20 on full price items to get the gift. And I had gone into the eyeshadow aisle and I saw this very pretty eyeshadow, but I really didn't want to spend the nine or $10. But it brought me over and it was gonna give me such a good discount that I went ahead and got it. And it's a glitter cream eyeshadow. It's really, really pretty. This one is called Tubular. I don't have it on right now, but I wore it once after I brought it home, and it's really, really pretty. It's very sheer, so you might want to wear it with um, a primer or another color under it, unless you really layer it up. It's not as gold as like Bare Minerals True Gold, which I still wear. This gives you more of a subtle shimmer and you can see the glittery sparkles in the lighting. So once I spent the $20, that was required of me, I got this little gift, which I, I'm gonna open right now. Once I spent the $20, I got this really nice beach bag. Can you see that? Really nice beach bag. It's, it's very wide, fits a lot of stuff, and it's kind of apropos because I bought this down at the beach Ulta. So with this beach bag, came two presents. One of them I'm very sad about because right, well, not sad, but it made me a little sad because right before I start to shoot this video, I dropped the bag and it cracked. And so most of it crumbled and I don't have much left, but it's the Ulta bronzer, which I'm wearing right now. And I really like this as well. But as you can see, there's not, and I can't even tip it. There's not much left because it cracked. So it was really nice it gives you a nice tan bronzy color and i will probably buy that again it's the matte bronzer and then along with that came a lip plumping transforming top coat which i am wearing now I'll put a little more on it's very glittery and i love shimmer so i'll put as much shimmer as i can on anything so that was my haul so those of you that shop at Ulta know that they have coupons in their circular weekly. Um, sometimes it's 20% off one full price item or $3.50 off your purchase of $15. And this particular week it was $3.50 off your purchase of $15. And for those of you that shop there, if you, if you sign up and you become a card member, which doesn't cost anything, you rack up these points every time you make a purchase. And when you get up to 100 points, you get a $3.50 coupon. So I had the $3.50 coupon, they had a $3.50 coupon off your purchase of 15, and then they had the free gift if you spent 19 or more. So this entire haul, complete with the beach bag, after coupons, came to $38, which is the price of one expensive blush. Now I'm not saying I'm never gonna buy the high price makeup again. I'm sure I'll buy it at some point, especially for a special occasion like a wedding or a reunion. But at the moment, I'm really trying to cut costs and this makeup should go a long way.